welcome to Sunrise in Two. The Progressive Congress National Working Committee has again postponed the screening of its 23 presidential aspirants. National Publicity Secretary of the party, Felix Mocha, disclosed this in a three paragraph statement. No reason was given for the shift in the process barely one week after the same process was shelved last weekend. The governor of Abnambara State, Professor Charles Soludo, has placed a hundred million reward for anyone or group that will avail valuable information that can lead to the arrest of the killers of the state's lawmaker, Honorable Okechukwu Okoye. It should be recalled that the member representing Governor Chukuma Soludo's constituency, Honorable Okechukwu Okoye, was kidnapped. However, his head was found on Saturday as Nobi in a Demidi local government area area of the state without his body. In a statement issued by the governor's press secretary, Mr. Christian Aburime, and made available to journalists, the governor placed 100 million naira bounty on the killers of the lawmaker. Brono State Governor Babagana Umaru Zulum has declared that the people of Brono State are appreciative of the viable footprints and humanitarian strands of a frontline presidential aspirant of the Progressive Congress, Jack Rich, in the state. Governor Zulum made the disclosure at this weekend, playing host to the APC presidential aspirants and his entourage at the government's house in Meduguri who were on the consultative visit to the state to meet the stakeholders and delegates of the party ahead of the presidential primaries. The office of the Auditor General of the Federation has queried the management of the Ogun Ocean River Basin Development Authority for selling up government's planned property and equipment valued at over 2 billion naira at a sum of 13.181 million. The House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts has consequently summoned the Minister of Water Resource and the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry to explain the ocean. Moving on, the world's richest man, Elian Marks, becomes 10 billion naira poorer in just a single day after claims of sexual misconduct were leveled against him. The Tesla founder and CEO Walt shrunk by 10 billion on Friday, May 20th, as Tesla stock plunged. According to Boomerang, the company's stock price fell after reports that the SpaceX settled a sexual misconduct claim against him. And now moving over to sports, following his impressive performance in the 2021-2022 season, Ghost Law Rangers defender Calvin Bassey has been linked with an exit from the Scottish Giants with Brian Munich and Chelsea in the race for the Nigerian. The two European Giants are set for fierce battle for the 22-year-old defender. And that is it from all of us right here at Sunrise TV. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.